Welcome to the Ministry of Triumph in Christ, TIC, a ministry to the believers of Christ, to the body of Christ. Joel chapter 1 verse 4. What the chewing locusts left, the swarming locust has eaten. What the swarming locust left, the crawling locust has eaten. And what the crawling locust left, the consuming locust has eaten. Just like what you have read in this verse, are you in a situation when the enemy has been trying to eat up all your blessings and trying to steal, kill, and destroy God's vision and God's purpose for you? You know what? It's like one comes after another and the enemy is unrelenting in trying to devour all that the Lord has built in your life. Now, beloved of God, if you are one of those who are going through such situation, take heart. Help is at hand. God's restoration is at hand. Yes, this is what the Lord has spoken for today. God's restoration is at hand if you look to Him and put all your trust in Him. Now in Joel chapter 1 verse 4 about the locust, Joel was describing the present state of God's people at that time. You know what? They were devastated by successive swarms of locusts, first chewing, then swarming, then crawling, and finally consuming. At that time, Judah was experiencing this devastation. And you know what? The time was extremely critical and difficult. It's like swarms and swarms, waves and waves of devastation continued on and on against God's people. But thanks be to God that this book of Joel gave God's people much hope. Now, this is the good news for you today as well. So whatever your situation that you may be facing at the moment, I want to encourage you and I want to assure you there is hope, my friend. Keep looking to the Lord who is your only hope. After all, the name Joel means Jehovah is God or Yahweh is God. Now, interestingly, this constitutes a short confession of faith. You know what? Very much like in the New Testament, the confession, Jesus is Lord, Yeshua is Lord. Indeed, Yahweh is God. Yeshua is the Lord. Yes, Jesus is the Lord. Let's proclaim this one more time. Jesus is the Lord. He is the King of all kings, the Lord of all all lords, that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord in heaven, on earth, under the earth. Who can withstand him? No one. No one, whether in heaven or on earth or under the earth. And in him there is hope. Amen. Hallelujah. And in him there is restoration to whatever that the enemy has destroyed. So you see, beloved, there is hope for you. The Lord is in the midst of restoring whatever that you have lost. Just do not limit Him how He's going to do it and in what way He's going to do it. So people of God, if you ask me what is the book in the Bible that we all should read in this time and season, it would be the book of Joel. Take some time to read it. It's not a long book. The Lord will speak to you and assure you. Indeed, this is the time He is in the midst of restoring to you what you have lost and restoring to you what the enemy has stolen from you. Prophet Joel put it aptly here. Joel 1 verse 19 to 20, O Lord, to you I cry out, for fire has devoured the open pastures, and a flame has burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field also cry out to you, for the water brooks are dried up, and fire has devoured the open pastures. And as you cry out to the Lord, people of God, this is what the Lord say to you. Joel 2 verse 18 to 19, then the Lord will be zealous for his land and pity his people. The Lord will answer and say to his people, Behold, I will send you grain and new wine and oil, and you will be satisfied by them. I will no longer make you a reproach among the nations. Now I know Prophet Joel at that time was referring this to God's people and God's land. But right now, the Lord is also speaking this to you regarding your situation at the moment. So take heart, people of God. 
Joel 2, verse 21 to 22, I continue, Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done marvelous things. Do not be afraid, you beast of the field, for the open pastures are springing up, and the tree bears its fruit. The fig tree and the wine yield their strength. What a promise from the Lord. So fear not, beloved of God, no matter what you have been going through at the moment. And fear not, no matter what you have been hearing, whatever news that's around you at the moment. Just keep looking to the Lord. Just keep putting all your trust in the Lord. And the Lord will know how to do His part. I continue with Joel 2, verse 23 to 24. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain faithfully, and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. The threshing floors shall be full of wheat, and the wax shall overflow with new wine and oil. So this is God's assurance and promise for you, no matter what you are going through at the moment. The Lord is faithful. The Lord has been faithful. The Lord is faithful. And the Lord will still be faithful to you as long as you keep looking to the Lord, keep surrendering, submitting, yielding your life to the Lord. And this is the key words for today. Joel 2 verse 25. So I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. See the word restore here? Now the word restore here is shalom in Hebrew. It can mean any of these. To make good, to make amends, to give again, to recompense, to pay back, to prosper, to make complete, to keep safe, to make peace, to reward, to make perfect, to make whole. Now, there are 12 definitions here. Praise the Lord. As you can see here, there is a broad meaning to this word shalom or restore. So I declare this upon you one more time, beloved of God. The Lord says, so I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust. Yes, all those fruits in your life that the enemy has destroyed or broken or stolen, the Lord is restoring to you. All that the Lord has meant for you to have. Yes, for some of you, even those wasted years, quote unquote, wasted years that you have gone through, the Lord will know how to restore back to you all those wasted years. In other words, beloved, the Lord is restoring you and He's making your life fruitful again. Amen. Receive this by faith. And let the Lord visit you right now. Let the Lord minister to you right now. Let the Lord restore to you right now. Just open your heart to the Lord and let Him come. And let Him visit you. And let Him do His work, His mighty, marvelous work in your life. Amen. I continue with Joel 2, verse 26 to 27. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I am the Lord your God, and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Joel 2, verse 28 to 29, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my Spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also on my manservants and on my maidservants I will pour out my Spirit in those days, says the Lord. And that time, beloved, has already come. It is not sometime in the future, it is now. So indeed, in spite of all the plans of the enemy against God's will, God's visions, and God's purpose for your life, the Lord is visiting you in a time like this. Get ready for dreams from the Lord. Get ready for visions from the Lord. He is pouring out His Spirit like never before, the Spirit of the living God. And indeed, in the midst of all those plans of the enemy against God's will and God's visions, the Spirit of the Lord is moving right now. The Spirit of the Lord will fall upon many 
like you've never seen before. The Lord is visiting many all over the world, even in dreams and visions. So the Lord is visiting you, and the Lord is visiting many more all over the world, even in supernatural ways. This is the time. And He is going to enlighten the spiritual eyes of understanding of many. He is going to open the spiritual eyes of many to see how God sees and to see what God sees. Now, this is not my idea or my imagination, but this is what the scriptures say. I am just saying what God says. I am just quoting from the scripture regarding this time and season of the Lord. So my friend, take heart and fear not. The Lord is at hand. The Lord's restoration in your life is at hand. Now receive this promise of the Lord by faith, even in your situation that you are facing now. Just don't limit how God is going to do it and in what way He is going to do it. You know why? Because His wisdom is unfathomable. His wisdom is unmeasurable. His ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Amen. Let's continue with Joel 2 verse 30 to 32. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Lord. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, among the remnant whom the Lord calls. Joel 3, verse 14 to 16, Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and moon will grow dark, and the stars will diminish their brightness. The Lord also will roar from Zion and utter His voice from Jerusalem. The heavens and earth will shake, but the Lord will be a shelter for His people and the strength of the children of Israel. Joel 3, verse 17 to 18, So you shall know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem shall be holy, and no aliens shall ever pass through her again. And this is what God says as He blesses His people. And it will come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drip with new wine, the hills shall flow with milk, and all the brooks of Judah shall be flooded with water. A fountain shall flow from the house of the Lord and water the valley of Acacias. Now the Lord has spoken for me to make a declaration from the book of Joel, all these promises and assurance of the Lord. I just want to be faithful before the Lord, to be faithful to say what He says. When He says so, I say so. When He says no, I say no. As I was seeking the Lord in the past week, this is what the Lord has asked me to share with you, to declare this to you. Be blessed. Remember, the Lord's restoration is at hand in your life. God's restoration is at hand in your life. I declare this upon you, yes, you. Be blessed. Take good care. The Lord be with you and the Lord bless you.